how are you doing? Welcome back to some more Football Manager 2023 and another part of the Journeyman with England. Today we have got the chance to win our second tournament in charge of England, the European South American Super Cup, uh, which is the two teams that win the, the continental competitions. And we're taking on Uruguay as uh, we're looking to get this trophy back into European hands. It's been ran six times in the past, apparently as recently in real life as 2022, and uh, which took place at Wembley, apparently. I don't remember that. Uh, but Argentina took on Italy. Uh, Argentina won the previous iteration in 1993 against Denmark, and uh, France beat Uruguay in the inaugural uh, competition back in 1985. France won in 2025 against Mexico in Brazil. Um, Spain won against Brazil in Italy, and then Argentina beat Spain in Argentina uh, in the, the most recent edition in 2033. And uh, it's currently 3-3 in the European South American battle for this Super Cup. It would be great if we could take the lead and uh, win this one and go back to 4-3 in front and get another trophy in the England Trophy Cabinet. Um, yeah, it's going to be interesting. It's also our last match before the Nations League uh, semi-final against Italy. Uh, we've got a chance to win two trophies in a month um, and that would be the perfect build-up to the World Cup of 2038. But we're not going to count our chickens too soon because we may well get beaten today against Uruguay. Uruguay are currently the 16th best team in the world. Uh, they've had an interest in last couple of years um they of course won the, the copa america last year that's a big achievement for them their first trophy for quite some time it would seem and uh you, you know in world cups in the past uh they've not necessarily performed as well as they could they got to the second round so in in 2034 so they're not necessarily in the best of form for World Cup wise, and uh, they should be a team we are beaten comfortably. It would have to be said. Squad wise, we have gone for a fairly uh, standard squad. There are uh, a couple of names that you might not recognise immediately. Joshua S. Campbell is back in the squad. We took him to the Euros last year. weren't very impressed, but he's had a good season at Tottenham, so I think he deserves another chance in the limelight. Um, other than that, uh, Reagan Glasgow comes back um, and uh, yeah, I think Steve Bamford was in the, the last squad that we did. Uh, just wanted to take you on a quick journey of the Premier League as well. Uh, let's have a little look at that. Uh, Manchester United won the Premier League this year. I mean, Southampton were dominating the Premier League. They led for a long, long time and then had an awful run of form. Towards the end of the season, if you have a look at their uh, last few matches, you can see certainly Premier League wise, they they lost it. Um, they bottled it. They were about to win the, the Premier League and Sean Dyche's team just about managed to, to finish third in the end. Uh, Man City finished second there. Leeds United finished fourth. So second consecutive season of Champions League football for them. And Liverpool finished fifth. Jurgen Klopp still hasn't signed a new contract for them yet, which is an interesting one. It is expiring very, very soon. Uh, and I don't know if there's any plans to extend that deal for Jurgen Klopp. Uh, in this uh, Italy, uh, winners in that division were Lazio. They have now won two of the last three Serie A titles. Juventus haven't won one for the last five years, which is an interesting one. La Liga, uh, Barcelona are back on top after two years of Real Madrid domination. Uh, they haven't got rid of Zinedine Zidane, which is interesting. Finishing third and a long, long way behind Barcelona. I thought they might get rid of him and, and try and bring us back, if I'm honest with you. But, um, yeah, you know, they got to the Champions League final, I suppose. Lost that to Man United as well. So uh, they won the Copa del Rey. That might have saved his job, to be fair. They won the Super Copa as well. So, yeah, not the quadruple, which, of course, we won in charge. 
Right then, uh, let's have a little look at the team for this match against Uruguay. Eric Howes will start in goal with Livramento, Woodward, Drew Warburton and Cutbush in defence. We've got Bellingham holding the midfield with Granger and Wood in the middle of the park. Lucas Smith and Harvey Elliott will start wide of Brett Betts up top. Only the five substitutes allowed uh, with Callum Lloyd, Harwood, Glasgow, Saka and Bloxham making the cut. So here we go then. It is time for the European South American Super Cup. And I'm looking forward to it. As I say, I think uh, we can we can come out on top. I think we've we've proven that we're a, a world class side now and I'm hoping that we can we can give it to Uruguay again. They're playing a very, very defensive formation, and interestingly, a team full of new gens. We still have a couple of uh, real players in there: Livermento, Bellingham, and Elliot, and obviously Saka on the bench as well. So they're getting towards the end of their careers. We are very much in the age of football manager where you are going to be getting pretty much a full team of new gens. We're 15 seasons into uh, this save now. I suppose this is the end of the 16th season. Here's Livramento with a little chance here. He's going to whip it across. And here's Matthew Granger with a chance. And that is just wide. But we need to be taking those chances early on. Or it's, it could get nervy, as we've seen in our last couple of matches. Here's... Uh, Cutbush cuts cuts it out and uh, that's all the way back to Cutbush again he gets it to Wood now Wood forward to uh, Betts here's Bellingham Bellingham all the way forward towards Lucas Smith who uh, loses it and Salazar builds from the back to De Leon to Mendes now to Siri to Umpierrez remember him our Fulham protege I mean we signed him as I think a 17 year old and he is now a Uruguayan international playing in a European South American Super Cup final here's Cutbush brilliant ball forward to Brett Betts what a chance to put us 1-0 up and he does Brett Betts gets the goal and we are 1-0 up against Uruguay within the first seven minutes of this match and what I cannot believe is is how many chances we've already had and only seven minutes have passed, but Brett Betts with a really composed finish. Lovely to see him on the score sheet, and we are 1 0 up against Uruguay. And uh, one hand on the trophy, you would suggest, with uh, the way we've performed so far. I think it's uh, deserving of praise, but our possession only 37%. That is very unlike us. Uh, we are playing in Germany, by the way, in Munich. So. European conditions potentially that's you know a, a, an advantage for us he has Elliot he whips it in Woodward with the header and he makes it to the captain scores again from the set piece and it was Harvey Elliot lovely whipped cross curled in to the back back post there Dominic Woodward there with the header loops it over the keeper and it's now Uruguay nil England two come on Come on, we're going to get another trophy in our bag, hopefully. And uh, set us up nicely for the Italian job uh, in, a, in a couple of weeks' time. And obviously they'll be wanting revenge for that quarterfinal defeat in the Euros where we beat them 2-0. It was a very, very strong performance. And, and we're playing away in Italy as well. So that's going to be a huge challenge. Here yeah, Smith gets it to Woodward now. To Warburton. Here's Bellingham. Wood to Granger. No, he's lost it. That's a very, very poor pass. Here's Livramento. Gets it to Woodward. Livramento again. Here's Granger. He's lost it. Oh, that's a terrible tackle. That is going to be a red card from Lucas Smith. And that has just put a few little question marks in there now. Um, Yeah, we can go a little bit narrow, I suppose. Um, we're going to go direct counter-attack now. We're going to swap these back to more defensive roles. That looks all right. Yeah, that'll have to do. And Hopefully we'll be able to, to hang on here. 
in this match. Okay, let's see what we can do in terms of substitutes. We'll put Bakaya Saka on. Granger can come off as well, and we'll put Harwood on for him. And Livramento is on a yellow card. That was an odd highlight. Callum Lloyd on. Yep. So, yeah, we're out of substitutes now. He has Turner. He whips it in. Header just wide. That that was Uruguay's chance there, you would suggest, to get back into this match. They might get another one here, though. Here's Turner. All the way back to Umpierrez, who gets it to Spinelli. Silva. Urutia. But Cutbush cuts it out. Here's Warburton now to Bellingham. Bellingham switches the play all the way to Callum Lloyd. Here's uh, Harwood. We're still not going very direct. That's what I want to do. And there's Bellingham. He goes over the top. Harwood chases. And uh, Mareko back to Salazar now. Here's uh, Mareko again. Down this left-hand side. And Uruguay still pushing forward. Lloyd with the interception. Harwood. Here's Wood. Loses it. That's a terrible pass from... Ben Wood, very unlike him. There's the ball over the top, and he has Mendes, and it is in. And that sets up a nervy finish now for ourselves. Um, mm, what could we do? I mean, Saka can probably go back into the midfield. Um, yeah, I mean, can Harwood play it? No, Harwood can play left back. Cutbush can play. Centre back though, we can do this. We can move Saka there and do that. Move him on to defensive. Yeah. Put him on support. Oh, but we've got a highlight straight from the kickoff here. We're trying to just shut out this game, but here come Uruguay. That's forward again. He has Lopez. Oh, it's a corner. It's a corner. Oh, it's end of highlight, luckily. Right, we're going to go very defensive now. Four minutes of added time. But I think we're going to hang on. And there it is, the full-time whistle. And we have won the European South American Super Cup. And we're coming down and shaking hands with all the delegates. And pff, that was nervy towards the end there. But we have got to be happy with that. It's our second trophy in charge of England, Dominic Woodward is going to lift the trophy above his head for the very first time as England captain. And there it is. We win and we beat Uruguay along the way. It was possibly trickier than we expected, trickier than we anticipated, but we've come out on top and that is credit to the boys and they have got to be very, very happy with that. So it finishes Uruguay 1, England 2. Let's uh, let's move on then and let's see what everybody says about the, the victory. Let's see if we have become a legend of, of England. We've won the Euro Sam Super Cup, uh, who many will remember being unceremoniously dumped out of the FA Cup by Nottingham Forest in 2034. It's just so pathetic, isn't it? I mean, that that was a, a terrible, terrible tackle, wasn't it? We've led them to glory again, which is brilliant. Cutbush is the best performer. House is, is happy with that. And, uh, well, let's have a little look at our profile. Are we fully five-star yet? No, we're not. But uh, we have won what has turned out to be uh i think is that our eighth trophy win where are the trophies there's our awards does it not have trophies anywhere on here oh there you go cup seven leagues two so that i guess is our ninth trophy isn't it one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine trophies in charge of um in charge of teams in this save. And we've won a trophy every single year 
since uh, 2032, which is is a pretty nice record to have, isn't it? Of course, the Real Madrid season, uh, the, the quadruple was was awesome. Um, yeah, very very good. Right, uh, that is where we're going to leave it for today. Then uh, I hope you've enjoyed it. If you have, give it a big thumbs up down below. And uh, tomorrow we will be back with the Nations League. I'll see you for that one. Goodbye.